Al-Dahabi said in his history, Shoja Alda was extremely beautiful, intelligent, wise, and intelligent, and she attained happiness that none of the women of her time achieved. The good king loved her and relied on her. When he died in Damietta, she hid his death. The princes and elite respected and obeyed her, and they made her king over them. For days, she reigned supreme and was given sermons on the pulpits. Who is Shajarat Alda? The name of Shajarat Alda. Shajarat Alda or Shoja Alda, nicknamed Ismat Aldin Amkhalil, the original algorithm, she is a slave girl who was bought by Sultan Al Saleh Najam Aldin Ayyub. She enjoyed a high status with him and he loved her, so he freed her and married her. Characteristics of the Elder Tree Shajarat Alda is a great name in Islamic history. If you want courage, if you want intelligence, if you want anger, and if you want treachery, all of this is gathered in this woman. Shajarat Alda and Najam Aldin Abu after the death of Saladin al Ayyubi, his large state was torn apart between his relatives and his sons, and conflict broke out between the Ayyubids in Egypt and the Levant, and in 641 AH, al Nazir Daud, the ruler of Jordan and Jerusalem, disagreed with al Saleh Ismail the ruler of Damascus. The two disagreed with the righteous king, Najam al-Din Ayyub, the ruler of Egypt, and we sought help from the Christians against him, and they agreed in exchange for handing over Jerusalem. The two armies met in Gaza, and a battle took place between them in which the heroes of the Levant left the traitorous army, joined the righteous King Ayyub, and turned against the Christians, killing 30,000 of them. This battle was called Hatim II. Their army continued to fight until they reached the Levant and its people revolted and expelled al Sole Ismail. Then he sought help from the Khwarezmians and expelled the Crusaders from Jerusalem. This was their last presence there until the British entered it in 1917 AD, and the unity of the Ayyubid state was restored under the leadership of King Al Saleh Najam al Din Ayyub. Louis IX's campaign against Egypt. In the year 1248 AD, Louis IX, King of France, nicknamed the Pious King, moved toward Egypt at the invitation of the Pope to occupy it and regain Jerusalem. He was able to control Damietta and headed toward Mansoura. The good king, Najam al-Din Ayyub, left with his army and the battle began, the Battle of Mansoura. But it is God's will that the righteous King Job should die naturally in his tent during the battle. Here his wife Shajarat Alda moved. So I ordered the doctors to hide the news. She sent a summons to Crown Prince Turin Shah, who was in Mosul. The battle continued under the leadership of Shajarat Alda. 
It was able to defeat the King of France, Louis IX, and his powerful army. King Boyce was brought to her as a prisoner, and she imprisoned him in Mansoura prison. He negotiated with her to release him in exchange for huge sums of money to be paid, and she agreed to pay half the amount before his release and the other half after. King Louis IX left Egypt for Acre, and as soon as he arrived there, he reneged and began preparing a crusader army to reclaim Jerusalem. He asked for help from the Ismaili assassin sect, enemies of the Abbasid Caliphate, and they helped him. He asked for help from the Mongols, but their internal disputes prevented them, so he sent to the Pope, but he was busy. In a campaign against the Roman king, Louis waited for four years. The rule of Shajarat Alder in Egypt. Turin Shah, the son of King Saleh Najm al-Din Ayyub, took over the rule of the Ayyubids. The first thing he thought of was eliminating the influence of the Mamluks who were slaves and his father brought them to fight. Then their influence increased and they became leaders in the army. One night Turan Shah was drunk. There were candles in front of him, so he started hitting them with a sword while saying, This is what I will do to the Mamluks. The Mamluks were seeing and hearing, so they knew his intention. So they conspired with Shajarat Alder to kill Turin Shah and assume power, and this was actually done by the knightly Mamluk leader Akhtay, only 70 days after he assumed power. After him, Shajarat Alder assumed power. The reigns of power, and the Mamluks and princes in Egypt announced their pledge of allegiance to her, and she became the first woman to rule in Islam. Relinquishing power to his old Ibak. The news of Shajarat Alder assuming power reached the Levant, and its people refused to pledge allegiance and said, we do not pledge allegiance to a woman based on our rule. The Abbasid Caliph in Baghdad sent a message to Egypt mockingly, If you do not have men to rule, we will send you men from our own. Shajarat Alder felt that she would not be accepted as ruler of Egypt, and she realized that things would get out of her control, so she proposed marriage to one of the weak Mamluk leaders, Is Aldin Ibak, and then abdicated the throne to him. Thus, the rule of the Ayyubids ended and the rule of the Mamluks began in the year 1250 AD. Shajarat Alder who was actually running things, began reorganizing the country. She organized a huge military force in Egypt and established a powerful naval fleet, but the Ayyubids in the Levant rejected the Mamluk rule in Egypt. King Louis IX was preparing to invade Jerusalem so the Abbasid Caliphate intervened through mediation in which matters calmed down between the Ayyubids and the Mamluks, and peace was concluded that Jerusalem, Gaza, and Nablus would be under the rule of the Mamluks, and the Ayyubids would have the rest of the Levant. 
King Louis IX was unable to gather forces capable of regaining Jerusalem, so he lost hope and withdrew from Palestine to Europe. With his withdrawal, the largest crusade in the Levant ended. Then he attempted a campaign against Tunisia, and the Hafsids repelled him there with the support of some Arab tribes. He died there and died. His body was sent to France. The killing of Shajarat Alder. Is Aldin Ibak wanted to take control and get rid of Shajarat Alder's influence, so he decided to ally with the king of Mosul and sent him a secret to propose to his daughter. Shajarat Alder discovered this conspiracy. She mobilized some Mamluks to arrest her husband, Ibak, killed him and took control again. Then she began to offer to the Mamluk leaders to marry her, but no one accepted for fear of her and the repetition of Ibak's experience with her. Then she declared Olmansa, Ibak's son from his other wife, as ruler. He was 10 years old and she found in him an opportunity to keep the reins of power in her grip. But the army commander, Saif Aldin Kutuz, surprised her by announcing his guardianship over the ruler. So the conflict began between Shajarat Alder and Saif Aldin Kutz, and when the other leaders saw a man standing against Shajarat Alder, they sided with him and declared their loyalty to him. He was overthrown by Shajarat Alder, and she did not find anyone to support her, so Kurtz sent someone to arrest her, so she collected her jewels and made crash it. Then she was arrested, and the mother of King Olmansa asked that her affairs be left to her. She gathered the slave girls and beat her with clogs until she died, then they threw her from the balcony of the palace into a ditch. Then the soldiers came and buried her. This was the end of Shajarat Alda in the year 655 AH, 1257 AD.